We are here today to seek and receive comfort. We'd be less than honest if we said our hearts have not ached over this situation. We are not too proud to acknowledge that we come here today trusting that God will minister to our hearts and give us strength as we continue in our walk with Him. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I know you are generous with kind heart, but with your income, you can barely afford the four kids that you have. I can't give you any more. You're right, I just, I just can't sit there and watch these kids live like this, but I can do something to help. Look, I understand that you want to help, but ethically speaking, I can't just give you a child just because you want to help. There are rules to follow. Who's that? Oh, his name is Joe, and this is his twin sister, Jade. They just returned to us. Their parents were killed in a car accident, and they are looking for a family to can take them both. In. Yeah, he's having a bit of a hard time, but she seems to be handling things better. They were with that family for three years. He's a nice kid. Very different from her though. They are in a confused and fragile state right now. I am looking for a nice family who can take the both of them. They definitely need good entourage to help them cope with this situation. How about we take them in? <laughs> Until you can find a family for them. You are pushing it. I am only agreeing to this because I know you are a good person. It's not like people are rushing to take them in anyway. But, you need to be very careful, because if the state knows I'm doing this, I won't have a job anymore. Besides, we are losing our funding. If things don't turn around, this bunch might have to close its door soon. Don't worry. They're in good hands.
What's going on? Who are they? Come here, guys. Have a seat. We need to talk. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. No one did anything. We just want to introduce you to some people. Guys, these are Joe and Jade. This is Bobby, Dave, Kelly, and Greg. The two of them are going to stay with us for a little while. And how long is a little while? Bobby, be nice. That's okay. I don't know how long. They lost their family in a terrible incident. Instead of leaving them at the orphanage, hoping that someone takes them in, I asked for them to join us so they can have better support. So what do you say? That's okay with me. Thank you, Greg. How about the rest of you? I'm fine with it. Fine. Fine. Is it me? Or does it look like they don't want us here? No, that's not the case at all. It's been a while since we've had someone new. They just need to get used to the idea. Mr. Montgomery, would you like some company? He was a good kid. He was a good kid. <laughs> he had his whole life ahead of him. more that you could do. The best doctors were working on him. It's just too late. And am I supposed to accept that? Tell me! Am I supposed to accept that? No! He was a good kid. He had a bright future ahead of him. And he still can, sir. Whatever you do next, you can dedicate to him, and he will live on. A foundation, scholarship, something. caseworker left is retiring this year and due to lack of funding they have to shut down. They're not. No. They're not. Hey guys, I need to talk to you. I don't know about this Joe and whatever her name is. Her name is Jade. I don't care. But what do you mean? They seem nice. I said we don't like them. What do you mean we? I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, I feel bad for them. They just got here and they lost their whole family. And they need to find another family. We don't have any more space. Man, relax. What do you have against him anyway? Can you at least give him a chance? What are you guys talking about? None of your business. 
I'm talking to my brothers and my one sister. Look, you all don't understand. Remember what happened when Greg first arrived? He was the favorite. He got everything. We had to do all the chores while he sat around and did nothing. I don't know about you, but I'm not going through that again. He's right. But the whole losing family story, we're going to be doing their chores for months. I don't know. I still think we should give him a chance. I know what you guys mean. He's my brother. He's kind of a suck up. Even with the last family, he always gets his way. You okay? Yes, ma'am, we'll be fine. <laughs> no need to be so formal. Anyway, something's obviously on your mind. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. I was just thinking about my parents, but I'll be fine. Well, whenever you want to talk about them, I'm here for you, okay? David! Come in here and bring Joe a cup of water. Hi, good morning. My name is Porter. I'm calling on behalf of Mr. Montgomery. We have a proposal for you. It's good to officially be accepted as one of you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Joe. Just wait here for me. Uh, what's going on? Are, are we there yet? Yes. Just wait. We'll be right back. All right. We'll be right back. Who's doing it? What do you mean? This was your idea. If you want, I'll do it. Oh, you're too young. Hey, we all want him gone, so don't act like this is just for me. Even his sister wants the same. Then have her do it. You're kidding me, right? How would that look if I hurt my own brother? As a matter of fact, I'm not even here. I'm out of here. Do what you want. Step up. What? No, I'm not doing this. I'm the funny one. I can't do this. You're the mean one. This is your thing. Really? That's my thing? I'm the mean one? 
I'm the one that's always protecting all of you. Now it's time to step up, you're backing out. Well, why me? Why don't you ask Greg? Me? No. I'm just the watcher. I just watch. Listen, just take it. No. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, shadow of death. Stop! Come on, position. I'm on it. Where are you guys? David, call everyone. We need to have a family meeting. Is it me, or have the kids been acting really strange the last couple days? How do you mean? With us looking for jobs, I kind of feel like we've been neglecting them. Have you even seen Joe today? No, but I'm sure they're all together and out. Gotta understand the situation. Things weren't always like this. Where's Joe? I'm sure he's around somewhere. Well, let me get started and I'll catch him up when he gets back. As I mentioned before, I lost my job. We're running low on funds and we only have enough to pay the mortgage for the next couple of months. I spoke to the new owners of the orphanage and they suggested that we use food pantry until we get back on our feet. Honey, can you check on Joe? Sure thing, hon. I promise that this is gonna be temporary. So what do you think? Yeah. 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 Joe's not there. Joe's not here. What do you mean he's not here? Did you check the bathrooms? I looked everywhere. He's not in the house. Did he tell you he was going anywhere? No, he never does that. Where's your brother? I don't know. He went with the others. What did you do? Okay, okay. All I was trying to do was scare him. That's not what you said. Scare him for what? We think that you like him more than us. Why would you think that? Because he's new. You've been doing everything with him. So what we said, let's get rid of him. But I was only the watcher. Greg! Wait, get rid of him? Bobby has a gun. What? We didn't mean to kill him. The, oh the gun fell and accidentally shot. You killed my brother? <gasps> then we ran. Oh my god, and you left him there! So where is he now? He was in the park. Did you kill my brother? Isn't that what you wanted? What? You five stay here. Don't move a muscle till I get back. Call 911 for ambulance. I'm going to the park. What if I have to pee?
Have you heard from the cops about finding Joe? No. Not yet. I saw you getting up pretty early this morning. I know you've been going to the park to look for him. All he needed was our support and love. I know. I know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna head over to the orphanage to pick up some food. We ran out. Why don't you let the kids do that? They've been locked in the house since last week. They can use a walk. Hey guys, come in here. Grab a bag and go pick up some food at the orphanage. Stay out of trouble and make sure you come right back. Wait, can we have a little more? We're a family of eight. I mean seven. This isn't gonna be enough. So is it seven or eight? Can we just have some more? I'm sorry, but each family only gets one bag, no exception. All right, look. This isn't gonna be enough. We need to do something, otherwise we're gonna run out of food in the next two days and be hungry for the rest of the week, just like last week. Bobby, I think we should just take it and go. We can't afford to get in any more trouble. He might be onto something. We were told to stay out of trouble. Do you guys really wanna risk it? Guys, it's simple. All we need to do is each of us grab one thing over there off that table, walk out together. I don't know, I'm not doing this. I'll just wait for you guys outside. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Come on, just follow my lead. Hey, 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 hey! No, drop, drop. What are you doing? What are you doing? You guys need to come with us. We need to call the cops. They are not the kids. It's not our call. The person in charge said, and I quote, if there's any problems, call the cops. We don't need any liabilities. Oh no, I'm sorry, I can't go to prison. I'm too cute for that. I know him. Go get this guy so he can tell us what to do with him. Why are you stealing food anyway? They're giving it to you for free. It's not enough. There's too many of us. taking some extra food. We are wondering if you want us to just make them leave. Take them to the back and call the cops. It's like that? You're not gonna help us? Help you? You, you shot me and left me to die! Technically, we didn't shoot you. It was an accident. Okay, you're right. We shot you. Make sure you tell the cops that we're pressing charges. You know, you guys may not like me down here, but someone upstairs still cares. We're sorry, you know. I know what we did was bad. We haven't been able to stop thinking about it. It's been rough on us, especially on our parents. We got jealous when you were getting all the attention. We didn't know how to handle it. But even when it came time to hurt you, none of us had the heart to do it. We may not have wanted you around. That doesn't mean, doesn't mean you weren't one of us. All I ever wanted was to have a family, 
a family that cares and spends time with me. Since I met you guys, not only have you shown no interest in being my family, but you turned my own sister against me. They didn't turn me against you, I turned them. Every family we live with, you've always been their favorite. And they just pushed me aside, like I don't matter. When these guys talked about how much they didn't like you, I guess I could relate. I'm sorry we hurt you. I'm sorry I didn't stand up for you like when you needed me the most. I'm sorry I stopped being your family. No matter what happens today, you've always been my brother and you will always be. I love you, Joe. Let's go. Wait. Did you actually mean that? Of course. Yes, I did. Bob, did you mean it when you said that I was one of you? Yeah, I meant it. Aren't you gonna ask me? I already know you did. You actually said you loved me for the first time. I love you too, Joe. Any chance looking for a watcher? You came to die for me on Calvary. Hey, I wanna thank you, my Lord. Hey, my Lord, hey, my Lord. You came to set me free and for loving me. Set me free and for love. 